Trace together data can only be accessed by the police for very serious offences. Clarifying concerns. Foreign Minister Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan and Law Minister K. Shanmugam asserted yesterday in Parliament that the police can only access trace together data for investigations into very severe crimes. For instance, trace together data had been utilised recently in a murder case. They also explained that should the police intend to access anyone's trace together data, they would have to seize the person's phone or token as the data is physically stored in those devices and cannot be obtained through other, any other means. The trace together token is only able to collect Bluetooth proximity data and cannot collect GPS location data as it does not contain a GPS chip. Similarly, the Trace Together app does not track GPS location data, though the Android version requires location permissions uh, due to Android requiring any app using Bluetooth to access location data. Regardless, the app will still not collect or use any location data it has access to. Therefore, Trace Together devices cannot be used by the government to track anybody's movements. The police will also delete trace together data if it is no longer required in court, and all stored data older than 25 days is erased automatically anyway. Why is the clarification necessary? Minister of State for Home Affairs Desmond Tan had earlier sparked criticism after he had affirmed that trace together data was not excluded from uh, the Section 20 of the uh, Criminal Process Code CPC that allows uh, the police to access any data required for criminal investigations. The controversy arose due to the fact that his statements contradicted Dr. Balakrishnan's previous promises in uh, June 2020 that trace together data would be purely for contact tracing, period. Dr. Balakrishnan admitted yesterday that he had forgotten about the uh, CPC when he made that promise last year. Prominent members of the community, including uh, members of parliament, such as the leader of the opposition, Pritam Singh, and others like former nominated MPs, uh, Calvin Cheng and SMU Associate Professor Eugene Tan, had expressed concerns about the lack of transparency surrounding the debacle and shared fears that such inconsistencies could undermine public trust. Pritam Singh had, uh, despite harbouring the above doubt, still upheld the continued adoption of Trace Together in the interest of public health. In conclusion, Dr. Balakrishnan promised yesterday that once the COVID-19 pandemic is over, the Trace Together program will be ended and most of the data collected would be deleted. Any data still held by the Ministry of Health would have identifying details uh, removed. He elaborated that the willingness of Singaporeans to use Trace Together is crucial to the fight against COVID-19 and hence the government finds it important to have the trust of all Singaporeans by taking their privacy concerns seriously.